Uh, I hope you guys you hear me. I hope my voice can be clear. Please let me know if you have any problem. If you cannot hear, maybe uh, you need to restart your uh, uh, your browser. <clears throat> Uh, because from my side, it's showing that there is sound. Um, anyway, uh, today our topic is about what is independent. You know, um, I apologize for the last three days. I could not do a broadcast because I have a problem with my computer and the software which I use for broadcasting, it crash. So I was trying to fix that issue. So today our topic is about newspapers in the West. In the front of me, this is what it's called the Independent. It's a very famous newspaper in the UK. And <clears throat> uh, I chose just a random article, you know, but because I could not find any article really speaking the truth in this Independent a news agency. And look like, you know, those, those uh, who call themselves Independent, uh, they are Independent in their lies. And they have no problem to sell out to the devil and to lie to you and to tell you what is not right and make it right or look like right. <clears throat> you do not need to look much farther than the Quran for proof that Islam is a peaceful religion. And where we read this? In the independent. I mean, you think first time you maybe you are reading this in, uh, in Saudi Arabia newspaper, maybe Pakistan, uh, Taliban, maybe. I mean, because. I don't know. I mean, does it make sense for me that in the West there's a newspapers who they provide to us a sellout for something is not exist. <clears throat> and by the way, this is not only in the independent. I can show you the BBC, CNN, etc. The list is long. You know, universities in the West. All I never saw one university in the West in their website publishing something negative about Islam. Islam is a very positive religion. <clears throat> it is wonderful. It's amazing. Uh, and everywhere there is bad and good. And uh, in Christianity, we have the crusade and blah, 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 blah. But the crusade, they are not criminals as they claim. The crusade, they happen because Muslims attack them, not because the crusade attacked the Muslims. And from here, you notice that the lies start since liberalism took over the West culture and education. The crusade but nobody asked himself when the crusade started what is what 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 was the reason for the crusade the crusade they are bad the crusade are criminals you know uh, etc but we have 600 years after jesus and there was no crusade crusade happened after the muslims attack the christians enslave the christians rape the christians steal the money and the land of the Christians, taking our holy churches and burning them to the point in the book of Ibn Kathir, it says that the church of Al-Qiyamah, Al-Qiyamah, which means resurrection, in the time of the Muslims when they occupied Jerusalem, the name changed to be the church of Al-Qumamah, al which means the church of garbage. Why? Because the Muslims lock it down and they throw in purpose on the church, all their garbage. So it became a dumpster for all the garbage of the town. You do not need to look much farther than the Quran for a proof that Islam is a peaceful religion. Please invite your friends because not many were expecting me. Actually, nobody was expecting me to be on air today. As I said, I had problem with the computer invite your friends and share around the links <clears throat> and here the article goes and we can read together so we can try to find out what this article is about the so-called jihadi group which consists of extremist muslim of every faction ranging from salafis wahhabis Al-Qaeda, Taliban, ISIS, and many more. Consider themselves as the uh, 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 advocates uh, of a true Islam. Okay. 
These terrorists claim that uh, the Paris and the London and the New York, New York attacks supported and uh, justified by the Quran. It's not. For sure it's not. For sure. Meanwhile, the majority of Muslims condemned those authority or this uh, 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 like this disaster. I never heard of Muslims condemning really this, those things. You see, what we heard, which we saw in TV, that when 9 11 happened, the Muslims they were dancing all over the Middle East. The condemning is for official government and those who live in the West and etc. But if you go in the street, nobody condemn it. It's a big fat lie. You can go right now and you can search all over in Pakistan celebrating, in Syria celebrating, in Gaza celebrating, Palestinian Muslims celebrating, in Jordan celebrating, I mean everywhere. So who was the one, who is the one was condemning the attacks? Official because they do not dare to say we don't condemn it. The one who dared to say we don't it was Taliban and they face a war for the last 20 years with the USA <clears throat> For those on the outside of debate This is may seem like confusion uh, uh, a confusion uh, situation which sides speak the truth? Is Islam dangerous religion? No, no way. Islam is not. What are you talking about? No way it's going to be dangerous. Here are reasons why the Quran does not support the action of terrorist group, both in the reasons for waging war and what is appreciate to do when there is a uh, defensive justification of for war to be frank God gives conditional permission to Muslims to wage war however there are strict guidelines in this which jihadists do not adhere to if, 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 if all of those things here are some of the terms and the conditions. There is, guys, there is terms and conditions. I mean, are you kidding me? There is terms and conditions. I mean, they kill you, but there is terms and condition. Okay, what is the terms and condition? First, Muslim cannot pre imbitively initiate a war. What? They are only allowed to act in defense. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's really a good one <clears throat> you know I don't know how much shame people have but look like in these days nobody have a shame I mean you can lie and make a public lie to the point it is extremely big lie but you are welcome to make an article in the independent I wonder when the independent will give me a chance to respond to this article can we have an independent respond well this is the independent they are independent but not none not when it's come to islam the second you say something negative about islam independent is not independent no more same as cnn same as all the media in the west garbage and garbage out now let us examine what this until, until now this guy in, in uh, this article he gave us nothing i mean it's just a speech muslims have a permission from god to go fight back only when they are expelled from their houses or land war can be waged if they if there is a situation where defenseless people are under attack man this is thank you shoot I don't know what they call him in the, 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 the in, in the Middle East. We call him. Do you, do you know this guy who fight uh, uh, the fans? You know the the thing, the man who think he is a noble man. He want to defend the poor. You know they, they are trying to present to us Islam as religion who defend the defendless one. 
Islam is like Robin Hood. They don't kill, they don't attack anyone. This is a very decent religion. And ask Muslim allies for help. The last reason for just war is when war break out between two groups or believers and one party does not intend to stop in spite of proposed trust. Man. Even for battles, the fights, the Quran has limitation and framework in the enemy purpose propose peace. If the enemy propose peace, I cannot take it no more. I mean, I mean, seriously, I cannot take it no more. Let us go. Let us cut the crap and go to business. I'm not going to read more. <clears throat> if the enemy prepare peace, are you sure, Abdul? Are you sure? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, hold on, I forgot. I forgot to install Arabic in my computer. What we will do now? Give me a second. See, I just I just finished three days working in my computer. You believe it? Three days. I'm, I, I, I my eyes hurt. Give me a second. I forgot to. I just I just loaded the computer finally. And uh, let us see where we go to the language now. <clears throat> I don't have Arabic font in the computer, in the in the setup. Let us see. Uh, make languages, all right. Mm, okay, add. Just give me a second, guys. I'm just almost there. All right. Okay, looks like we are done. Let us try it and see. Perfect. So now we go, <clears throat> we go back. I just added the Arabic font. <sighs> Let us see what the Quran says. See, huh. oh, hold on. there's something wrong with this keyboard. I installed the wrong, the wrong, wrong keyboard. Wrong. Why it's not typing correctly? I'm not sure. I need to fix that. But anyway, we found we found the verse we are looking for. Chapter forty-seven, verse number thirty-five. Forty-seven, thirty-five. Remember, in the article, they say to us. That Muslims they will go to war as long people they don't want to go to peace. But the second you ask for peace, they go for it right away. But the Quran says totally the opposite. Be not weary and fate hatred, hated, crying for peace when ye should be the uppermost. For Allah is with you and will never put you in lose for your good deeds. This is totally the opposite from what they say to us. Don't cry for peace when you are the uppermost. So the only way for Muslims to go for peace is when they are not the uppermost. So why they are lying? Why you are lying, Muslims? I will tell you why you are lying. You see, when a person he starts lying about his religion, that's mean it's a good sign that he is ashamed. It's a clear sign that this person is ashamed of his cult. Otherwise, a true believer, he will not, he is proud about his God, he is proud about his religion, he will not lie, for this is his religion. But because <clears throat> they are truly ashamed, they have to hide the truth and to lie. So when they say to us, well, in Islam, as we saw in the article, if we go back here, you will see it says here, even for the battle and the battles and fight, 
the Quran has limitation and the framework if the enemy proposed peace Muslims should immediately stop the war where do you get this from is it this is the Quran You know, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame that this is written in a newspaper, which is the Independent. If we go to the CNN, we will find the same garbage. This is the CNN. The Republicans, Muslims, Muslim problem. Written by Peter. Uh, you see, by the way, I'm not choosing by date. I just search on the internet and like the way, whatever appear in front of my face, I just present to you. And here they are trying to say to you that those who they are against Islam, they are lying to you. These negative view, view about Muslims have been uh, fueled by uh, uh, the version by the minority and the right has been pushing the claim and past several years president obama is seeking etc blah 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 and then uh, that the muslim brotherhood they have a secret plan to bring the sharia Allah. they have a secret plan the muslim brotherhood they have secret plan this is a lie there's no way it's announced already everybody know it if we go right now to the muslim brotherhood website I will do it live in the front of your eyes. Click, highlight, search Google. Do you see the logo? Guys, do you see the logo? This is the logo of the Muslim Brotherhood. I will go to their website, the official website. Here we go, ukhwanweb.com. This is an official website for the Muslim Brotherhood. All right, this is in English. <clears throat> This is their website. Let us go to the Arabic one because the real things is written in Arabic. Or oh, look here actually. Do you see that you see the, the, the flag? I want you to look with me at the flag. This is the flag of the Muslim Brotherhood. <clears throat> in there there is written in Arabic and there is two swords and there is a book. Why there is two swords and there is a book which is the Quran and what is that small word underneath of the sword? If we go back, let me show you. I'm trying to find the Quran in Arabic. <coughs> Give me a second. Or you know what, it's okay, if we go back here, no need. You see here, let me open my highlighter. Okay. All right, we have it open. If you look with me here, you will see this. This word. Wa'aiddu. Wa'aiddu. That is a verse in the Quran. And this is the first word in that verse. So what is that verse? What is that word is saying to us? So now we have two swords, we have the Quran, and we have Wa'iddu. And the Muslim Brotherhood being defended by the CNN, a very liberal to the bone TV station. Let us go and see what Wa'iddu is for. So we will go to the Quran as usual. Remember, Muslim Brotherhood is a very nice organization, and if you speak against it, you are absolutely Islamophobic. 
wide. You see, there's something wrong with this Arabic. I want to see what's wrong, guys. It's not typing correctly. Um, hold on. Uh, too bad I did not try before I start my podcast. I thought, okay, let's see. Because well, it's not typing. It's typing just Arabic letters. They are not connected. We go to setting again. Let's see what the problem. <coughs> language I'm not sure what is the problem look like everything is fine here so why okay Try now. Maybe now it's going to work. Let us see. All right. Sorry for this. What we can do, we have to fix it. Uh -huh. um, no, it's still not working. Hold on. I think uh, there's a. I need to choose the right keyboard, uh, which have equal, you know, options in my keyboard here. <clears throat> I think I chose the wrong keyboard. Hold on. Okay, keyboard. Um. Maybe this one, let us see. Testing, testing. All right. All right, there we go. Look like it's working now. We apologize again. As I said, the computer just a fresh from everything. It's a new install for everything. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the verse, what I do, is about. What I do. This is, we find that this is a chapter number eight, verse number 60. Very interesting. The Muslim Brotherhood, because they are a very peaceful organization, from the whole Quran, they choose this verse. But what this verse says, what does this verse mean? Let us see. Maybe it's a verse about peace. Maybe it says give hugs to non Muslims. Maybe it says uh, give a charity. Let us see. Chapter 8, verse number 60. Muslim translation, as you see. We don't use Christian translation. We will make it bigger. No, not this much. Looks like there's no option to make it against them. Make ready your strength to the utmost of your power, including steeds of war. To strike terror in the heart of the enemies of Allah and your enemies. I mean, do you see what is the verse? The verse, the Muslim Brotherhood they choose for their logo. Obviously, this is a very peaceful organization. You know what I mean? I mean, you cannot deny that. It's in front of your eyes. It says there, strike them with the uh, cake. 
You see, brother, this verse is not to be speaking about killing people. No, we will strike against you and we will eat cheese and we will invite you to eat cheese with us. The fact, it doesn't say that. This is a false translation. It doesn't say that. That's why I say, never trust a Muslim translation. Now you see it ugly, right? With this translation, you see it ugly already. But the fact, it's more ugly. Let us change the translation to show you how they play games with the translation. We will go to the second translator, the other Abdul, Shakir. And prepare against them what force you can. And horses, tied and front, frontier, to frighten thereby the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others beside them. You see it? And by the way, the Muslim, they say, the Quran is for every time. So now Hamas is going to fight Israel by preparing for them horses. Hamas is going to invade USA by horses. But in this case today, they are invading us by Trojan horses, which is like Obama, Hillary Clinton, CNN, the Independent, this is the horses they are preparing for us. You see, the, one of the leaders, who, the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood in Turkey, he's not the founder of the organization, no, but let's say he's the founder of the startup organization. The one who made Erdogan a president, Golan, who is now protected by USA, and he lived in Pennsylvania in USA. He have, if you go to my uh, Facebook page, the one is called Islam for Dummies, you will see there there's a picture of this guy and a quote of his statement that we have to go on and be so quiet in every every organization for the government and we are we have to be so quiet until and nobody no, nobody knows about, about us nobody should know about about them until we feel that we can shoulder the whole government and then we talk over How they lie to you, it's so clear. Why they lie to you, it's so clear too. You see, I never found more deceiving than those who call themselves liberal. You see, I am me, myself, I am an immigrant. I came to USA as an immigrant. I am not born in this country. And I found that the most people who hate America and they hate themselves and they hate their country and who they are willing to destroy their country is those who they call themselves liberal. They have mental issue. How in the world you make an article in the CNN defending the Muslim Brotherhood. Aren't they the one who killed a Sadat who signed a peace agreement with Egypt? Isn't it the Muslim Brotherhood the one who killed a Sadat? Isn't it the Muslim Brotherhood who put tons of explosions in churches in Egypt, in Syria, in Iraq, in Jordan? Isn't it the Muslim Brotherhood who just a few years ago burned tons of churches in, in Egypt? Isn't it Osama bin Laden is a Muslim Brotherhood? Isn't it ISIS founder is a Muslim Brotherhood? Al Zawahri is a Muslim Brotherhood? All the founder of Al Qaeda are Muslim Brotherhood? Even the one who killed just uh, two weeks ago, Khashoggi, is a Muslim Brotherhood. And he is a terrorist like the rest of them. And they are trying to present him to you as a journalist. The fact he has nothing to do with journalism. He got his job as a journalist, as a cover-up by the Saudi intelligence. It was a cover-up, so he can go to countries and they will not question him for asking questions, because supposedly he's a journalist. Tons of intelligent agencies, they 
insert in the business of journalism their agents because by being a journalist it's a great cover up for taking a camera with you speaking to people asking questions and if somebody asks you he's a journalist actually today just today the previous head of the Saudi intelligent let me show you the news he announced that Khashoggi in fact he was an agent for us for many years let me show it to you uh, trying to find that in Google this is just today you know he announced today that this guy he worked for us all those years he never been a journalist you have nothing to do with journalism it's a big fat lie I have the news in Arabic, but I'm trying to find it for you in English. Let's see. I'm just trying to search again. All right. Anyway, if anyone, if anyone of you is, uh, found it in English, if somebody can help us to find the, the news, you can post the link. Um, I have it in Arabic, but there's no point for me in Arabic to post it. Um, this is just today, you know, the guy he is talking about, you know, the guy he died now. So about the secrets we have, it's not a secret. Actually, uh, uh, it's it's all over the internet. Everybody knows that this guy, he, he was sent by the Saudi, he joined Al-Qaeda, he became a friend to Osama bin Laden, he's, he's a friend to uh, the founder of Al-Qaeda, which is Abdullah Azzam. He's a friend for Al-Zawahiri. He had pictures with them. He had pictures taken the RBG. Supposedly, is doing jihad, join Mujahideen in Afghanistan to kill the the the, the Russian. Uh, you know, this guy he have a history of terrorism, and he and and then when he is done with Al Qaeda, and I believe even when they send him to be with Al Qaeda, they send him as a mission. You know, he claimed to be his 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 uh, he support them, etc. It's just to spy. By the Saudi, who they are terrorists anyway. And now, look like the Saudi. This guy became a risk for them because he joined the Muslim Brotherhood, and he have a lot of secrets. That's the whole story. Everything you see in the news have nothing to do with the news, which is which means it's not really the news, it is a fabrication. 
the guy is a terrorist, the guy he is a spy, the guy he is a Saudi intelligent, the, the guy he joined the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Muslim Brotherhood are a terrorist organization, and nobody dare to say it's not true. Muslim Brotherhood announced to be a terrorist organization by many Islamic countries. So why in the West it's not a terrorist organization? Anybody can explain to you? If you search right now, you will find that in Saudi Arabia, in Qatar, in Emirates, in Egypt, four major at least let us say two of them they are biggest islamic countries and most important for muslims saudi arabia and egypt they consider the muslim brotherhood terrorist so why they are not terrorist for Trump you see I, I voted for Trump I support him because we don't have really better choice but Trump until now he's being hypocrite we have the Muslim Brotherhood in USA and they are doing their activities legally and officially and care is their biggest organization which is founded by the founder one the founder of care organization in USA is a member of Hamas and Hamas is one of the arms of the Muslim Brotherhood. And prepare for them, against them, forces. You can, whatever you can, prepare for them. To who? To us, to you. To the Christian, to the Jews, to the Hindus, to the Buddhas, to the atheists, to the gays, to the lesbian. Prepare for them, but for those are the enemies of Allah. Anyone don't accept Islam, he is the enemy of Allah. I'm not making things up. This is all over the Quran. And this is all over the Hadith. Even Muhammad, he said that he'd been ordered to kill all mankind. You see, in the other day, I saw a video by Abdul. He was debating. Uh, the reason I watched the video, actually, actually I, I don't I don't watch this Abdul videos, actually, because they, are, they shout and they scream. I don't like to listen to those things. The guy was saying to him, what about your prophet saying this hadith? He can go on and see the video, which they offer him this guy to debate me. They said to him, do you want to debate Christian Prince? No, no, no. He ran away right away in the, in the spot. The video is there. What a coward. Here, you will see this guy he was saying, well, the hadith says, I've been ordered to kill or kill kill the people, and you can go watch the, the video. By the way, if somebody have it, you can pause it, just to be sure that I'm not. Adding. I wish I can play it for you, but you know, when I play videos for Muslims, they they claim uh, copyright. I have been commanded. I should fight against people. Tell the declare that there is no God but Allah. What people? Mankind. All of us. Actually, by the way, the translation here has nothing to do with the truth in Arabic. The word fight, fight, is coming in Arabic from the word kill. So I've been mean, ordered to kill, not to fight. Because fight, I can fight with you with my fist. I can fight with you, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, can, I can fight by talking. The word in Arabic, Umirtu an uqatil an nas. If we go here, see. Let's show you how they lie in their translation. In the hadith, it says that the Prophet, he said, all, jamian, everybody, all mankind, 
when they ask hijab about this uh, uh, this kid egyptian kid they ask him about this he said well it says i will fight the people so if it's meant kill all the people that's mean he have to kill all the muslims and there is no way he would kill the muslims so he just admitted that this is not about killing all mankind yes it says kill the people yes but not all mankind only you who don't accept islam this is how we stupid those muslims when they try to defend islam the video is there go and watch it and and, 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 and you see their stupidity is amazing they expose himself he thought he's, he's doing good he's defending islam so he said it says there he should fight against the people the people all the people if it's all about all mankind it's not true otherwise he have to kill the muslims too you idiot it says there he he want to fight against the people until they declare that they are muslims until they say shahada it says there who is, go, who is going to fight who he will kill everybody unless he declare that he is a muslim and not only that he have to do what muslims do he have to obey muhammad he have to pay the zakat he have to pray he have to do fast he have to eat as we eat if they do that then they are protected from my sword and even if they convert if they do something against islam still i will kill them which means if you do something is not allowed in islam if you do that then and only then your blood and your property are secured in the article they were saying to us we muslims we fight only those who fight us but muhammad is saying i have been ordered i've been commanded to kill all mankind except the muslims it doesn't say i've been commanded to fight only those who fight me no he says what is the reason for the fight what is the purpose of killing the people what is the purpose of attacking in mankind what is the purpose of killing the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhas, the atheists, the gay, the lesbian? What is the purpose of this fight? It's very simple. I want everybody to accept Islam as a religion and to practice Islam as a religion. It's not enough to say Shahada. You have to do what I order you to do. And then and only then, your blood is safe from my sword. As you see, even the food, even the food you eat, if you break the rules of food, Muhammad will kill you. Read with me carefully. Allah Apostle said, I have been ordered to fight, to fight the people, all people, no exception. No exception. All the people. Till what? Till they say, say what? The Shahada, there is no God to be worshipped except Allah and Muhammad is Prophet. And if they say that, if they say so, which means they say that they worship Allah, there's no other God to worship but Allah. If they say that, then and pray like our prayer. It's not enough to say Shahada. No, no, you have to pray like our prayer. And face our Qibla, which means to, the Qibla is the direction of prayer for the Muslims. And not only that, you have to slaughter as we slaughter. Then their blood and their property will be sacred to us. If Muhammad been ordered to, uh, to fight all and kill all mankind, how the Muslim, they say to us, well, this is about defending ourselves. Oh, the Prophet was kicked from his town. By the way, the, the, the Prophet was kicked off his town. It's a big fat lie. Muhammad, he left by himself because he got humiliated. Nobody believed in him. It's a big fat lie. And then Muhammad, he started killing all his enemy, all the gangs, all the outlaw. You see, in Arabic, we have something, it's called as salik The salik is the same as the outlaw, or let us say, the bandit, you know, those who, they, 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 the pirate, or the, like in the sea, they call them the pirate, and uh, in, the, in the street, they call them the bandit, the, uh, uh, the outlaw in the West, 
you know, they have many names, but all of them they are the same. They are they are wanted criminals. A sarik for the Arab, the Arab tribes, what happened if you do commit a crime against somebody, let us say you rape a woman, let us say you killed somebody, let us say you stole some money, whatever. When you commit the first, second, third the crime, and then you became wanted by somebody, the family of this person, in order to avoid the revenge from the other tribe or from the tribe itself, which means maybe they are a member in the same tribe, but they don't want to take responsibility for the crime of their son. So what they do? They cast him out. They say, this guy is not our son. And this is why they call him Sa'alik. Sa'alik, which means they have no, no, they don't belong to anyone. That's it. They are, they are like they are the dirt of the society. All the Sa'alik, in the time of Muhammad, they joined Muhammad because it was a great opportunity for Muhammad and for them. Before they've been called thieves, now they've been called companions. Before they've been called the criminals, now they are called murderers when they die. Now they are fighting in the name of God. Suddenly they became heroes. the truth and by the way there's tons of hadith if there's any Muslim will debate me about that I can show you tons of reference that Muhammad he have those outlaw who did join his religion And I count for you uh, endless names of people who they are from the Sa'arik. Anyone, he is cast out by his tribe, he go and join Muhammad. Because now he, it's the same as today, by the way, you go in jail, you will find somebody he convert in jail just to get protection because you have to belong to a gang to get protection so like in america you know like if you are a redneck you join the redneck group gang and if you are a you know hispanic spanish you join the spanish gang and if you are uh, if you are no one i mean you join who eh, convert to islam you convert to islam and they supposedly they give you protection but then the Muslim, they will rip you off. Nothing changed. I can count for you endless list of the outlaw who they are the companion of Muhammad. And suddenly, the outlaw, they became heroes and they became the best of mankind. And the gang leader, Muhammad, became a prophet. And he became a wonderful man. It's very disgusting to see what is written in CNN, what written in the Independent, what is written in the BBC, and you and your children are the victim, especially if you have a young child who watched those news. This is why you see those liberals, they are brainwashed. You see, the second you speak about uh, against Islam, the liberals right away, they call, they cast you out. Oh, you are a hateful, you, hate you, uh, you are Islamophobic. You know, the only one have a phobia is the Muslims and you, you liberals. A Muslim, if he see the cross, he get offended. If we eat pork in front of him, he get offended. If I open the, the Bible in front of him, he get offended. Anything offend him. The Muslim, the first thing he do in the morning, he recite the first chapter in the Quran, which is Al-Fatiha, which he says, please Allah, don't make us like the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. 
Who is the one have a phobia? There is a sport team, it's called Real Madrid, and I think many of you know it. Because those people, they lost their mind, and they are just about money. When they went to play in Emirat, they took the cross from their flag because they don't want to offend the Muslims. Imagine they changed their logo just because of the Muslim phobia. That is what's happening. And you know, Islam is peace to the point, me as an Arab, I cannot speak in the Arabian countries what I am saying here now. I mean, if Islam is peace, why we cannot find one person there to speak against Islam in the Middle East? Anyone can tell me? Islam is peace. It's so peace. There's a guy in Pakistan, he posts something in a Twitter, and he's a Muslim. Second day, the Muslim, he's a, stu he's a university student. Second day, the Muslim Abdul in Pakistan, in the more than 4,000 students. They were waiting for this guy to come to the school, and when he came there, they beat the hell of him, and then they dump him from the top of the fifth floor, in the front of the police. Islam is so peaceful to the point nobody dare to speak against Islam in an Islamic country. You see, when I was in uh, in Asia, I I uh, I like I have a little chat. Let's say if we can say a debate, little 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 chat with the with the Buddha monk. He did not kill me. He did not chase me in the street. I told him face to face. I told him this is a pagan religion. Look, if you, you know you are surrounded by 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 stones. You pray in front of stones. You pray in front of etc. This is a pagan religion. Those people, they, they, those stones cannot help you. Nobody chased me and nobody went out of me to kill, to kill me. If I say that to a Muslim, when you kiss a black stone, you are worshiping idols. What will happen to me? If I say that in Saudi Arabia, in Egypt, in Libya, in Algeria, in Morocco, what will happen exactly? Have you ever heard of a country have zero gays, lesbian, atheist, Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas? That is a Muslim country, Saudi Arabia. Why? Because nobody is allowed to change his religion. Everybody is born as a Muslim, stay as a Muslim. They have zero, zero, non-Muslim. Have you ever heard of a country like this? All of this because in Islam you are free. You can be whatever you want. Right? Because Islam means peace. They lie to us every day. No, not Saudi only, not Saudi only. All of them is the same. There is no Muslim in Muslim country is allowed to leave his religion. Not in Emirat, not in Bahrain, not in Qatar, not in Syria, not in Jordan, not in, not anywhere. You cannot leave Islam. This is not only about Saudi. And by the way, the practice of the Saudi that you cannot be non-Muslim in Saudi Arabia, this is coming from by the order of Muhammad himself. Muhammad himself, he ordered that none Muslims are not allowed to live in this land. Be careful with me. Do you see it? Omar, the campaign of Muhammad, another criminal, 
who hate black people very much I heard the messenger of Allah PBUH say I will certainly expel see Islam is about peace Islam you they, they, they fight you only if you fight them to the point Muhammad he have a plan if I became victorious I will ex certainly expel the Jews the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula so as to leave only Muslims in it do you see it why are they lie to us you see we we saw in the scene and and we saw the the French uh, Parliament speaking against uh, uh, I don't know who who spoke about the no go zone in France, right? No go zone in France. All the media in the West they start saying Islamophobia, etc. My friend, no go zone is what you see in the front of you. This is no go zone. Is no go zone Islamic or no? Is Muhammad order? Is Muhammad is a Muslim? Can somebody tell me if Muhammad is a bad Muslim? Because look like Islam does not go by no go zoom. Only Muhammad. Muhammad is not a Muslim. Maybe Muhammad was a Hindu. Maybe he was, and maybe he's a Christian. Maybe have a. There is no way Islam does not believe in no go zoom. But it's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. No, go zoom. This is Islam, my friend. And they lie to you. Do you know? Let me show you. Hold on. Those liberals who defend Islam always day and night, who make me sick because of their stupidity. Do you know in the highway in Saudi Arabia? The highway in Saudi Arabia. The Muslims are not even shy to have sign. It says Muslim only, Christian or non-Muslims, not either Muslims or non-Muslims. This is, you see it? The signs are all over. This way for non-Muslim, this way for Muslims. Have you ever heard of such a thing? And they made a big smoke about those who spoke about no go zoom. And by the way, no go zoom is a fact. There's many places in France you cannot even go there. Even police don't dare to go there. But this is very Islamic, as you see. And they are not hiding it. You see, the, the, uh, the Muslim, they, they speak about uh, the white and the black. They say to you, do you know the white, the racist white in, in, uh, in South Africa? They have a buses for the, uh, they used to have buses for the white and buses for the black. Obviously, this is racism, separation by ethnic group or by color. Stamp practice the same. We are separated. The reason there is roads for Muslims only and roads for Christian or non-Muslims, whoever Hindu, whatever you are, because simply only Muslims are clean. Therefore, they can go in those roads which will lead to certain cities if you are not a muslim you cannot go here because simply you are filthy and this is can be found in the quran when the mushrikun and najis if we go in the quran and we type the word najis
chapter 9 verse number 28 ya ayyuhal ladina amanu inma al mushrikun najis the muslim they translate the word najis as any clean but the fact has nothing this has nothing to do with being clean what clean muhammad he used to be full of lies muhammad he used to take shower with dead dogs and woman blood from period what clean what exactly you mean by any clean? This is false translation. The word najis have nothing to do with being clean or not. This is about that we are filthy because we are not Muslims. Truly, the pagans, as you see, have you ever heard of somebody believe that, let us say, let us say, all of us who are pagans, how we can be all of us not clean? We don't take a shower? This is not what he's talking about. This is talking about because you are a Muslim. You are a filthy pig. Actually, the only book in the world who consider people are pigs and monkeys just because they are disobeying God is Quran. Isn't it the Quran who says that Allah He cast His curse on those who broke the Sabbath, so He made them pigs and monkeys? In fact, Muhammad He thinks the Jews are rats. And he have his logic for that. It's not racist logic or hateful or phobia. Obviously, it's scientific. If we go in the hadith, we will find this. <clears throat> Muhammad saying the following. Let us read. The Prophet said, a group of Israelists were lost. Nobody knows what, th what they did. Nobody knows what they did. But we know what happened. Muhammad is very genius. But I do not see them, except, there's no other exception. No, there's no other, that's it. I know what happened, that they were cursed and changed into rats. Imagine if Trump, he makes such a statement about any group, including Muslims. By the way, sometimes I say Democrats. But for sure, I don't mean that those who are Democrats are physically rats. But here, he is speaking about literally that the Jews, Allah, he cursed them and he made them literally rats. My friend, Islam is all about peace and respect. Islam is not about phobia. Islam does not teach hatred. Islam teaches you to respect other mankind. Islam is a very nice religion. The Jews are rad, the Christians are nudges, the, 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 the non-Muslims are filthy, dirty, garbage. All of those things is not hatred. It is just peace and love. While Jesus said, love your enemy, pray for them, Muhammad was saying, kill them all. And not only that, he even cut their fingertips. And then you find an article in CNN speaking about the Islamophobia. And many today, they believe that really there is Islamophobia. But the fact, it's the Muslim who have a phobia. The Muslim, they think we are Jews. We think, they think we are rats. They think we are monkeys. They think we are dirty. They think we are pigs. They think we are filthy. They think we are uh, 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 the enemy. The, any, any, any Muslim. He think that it, the Quran told them that that every non-Muslim he have a conspiracy against Muslims. If you go in the Quran, and by the way, all of this is from the Quran, not only from the Hadith. The Quran is a book of hatred. You see, Muhammad he wanted to be sure. That Muslims will never be friends. To the Christians, and he mentioned that in many chapter, chapter, even the Quran, chapter nine, verse twenty nine says, you cannot even take your father and your brother from your blood as a friend. Even your father, imagine, and your brother from cannot take them as a friend because they are they refuse to become Muslims. But Muhammad, he wanted, he wanted to be sure that Muslims will never be friends to non-Muslims. Because that would be dangerous for him. He's the devil. So, in order, in order 
to prevent that I have to teach my followers that all of non-Muslims are a pure evil Hell, call hell in you know, by evil more than like you know. Let me tell you something about the, 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 the non Muslims. Chapter 5, verse number 60. Should I tell you something about the evil ones? Tell us, Allah, tell us. Read with me carefully. Say, shall I point out to you something much worse than this? By the treatment it received from Allah those who incurred the curse of Allah and his worth those whom some he transformed into apes and swine those who worship evil those these are worse than rank in rank and far more astray from the even path you see how how ugly this image he draw for non-Muslims. The Muslim he say this, this is no, that's it. This, those are disgusting people. Look, Allah, he made rats from them, he made pigs from them, he made the apes, the swine. I mean, and they are the worst, the worst of mankind. And the Quran is full of those verses. To the point even the Quran says that the most evil people for mankind are the Christian and the Jews and this is in chapter 98 verse number six they are the most evil one and look at those funny translations. I mean, those translations, sometimes I wonder where the translation is coming from. What, what is this translation saying? Chapter 98, verse number 6, the translation, Yusuf Ali, have nothing to do with the verse, what it says. Let us see Shakir. Maybe Shakir will be honest. Surely those who disbelieve from among the followers of the book, which means Christians and Jewish, and the polytheists shall be held Abiding therein, they are the word. The fact doesn't say the word men. It says, we are the worst of the creation. In whatever live in this universe, the Christians and the Jews, specifically. And yet they say that we are the one who have a phobia. Isn't it? this is a phobia to teach people that everyone is a Christian, is evil, and he is the devil, and he is ugly, and he is an enemy. Everyone. Lo, those who disbelieve among the people of the scriptures and the idolaters will be in fire hell and they are the worst of created beings you see it's a created being is not men we are the worst we are worse more than the hyena and the wolves and the snakes and the spider and all you know creatures who might hurt you we are the worst according to Islam and you, you want a Muslim to, to, to be nice to you a Muslim you have a big phobia because of the Quran when you read this, the Quran is saying that you are a pure evil person and you cannot be any friend for them. And when the Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 51, clearly that you cannot take Christians and Jews as a friends, it's make it even more clear. Actually, even the Quran says that if somebody took a Christian or a Jew or non-Muslim as a friend and he mean it, then he is not Muslim as simple as that and this is goes this is up here in chapter 3 verse number 28 you know chapter 5 chapter 4 uh, 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 chapter 5 verse number 51 chapter 9 it's it there is all over 
all those verses in front of us, they are saying the same. All 4, 144, uh, uh, 551, uh, 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 557, blah, 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 okay, you know. But in chapter 5, verse number 51, the Quran made it clear by name that you cannot take a Christians and Jews as a friends. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for friends, for your friends and protection, protectors. So how a Muslim, he says to me, I am your friend. How some of you says to me, I have a Muslim friend. My friend, with my respect to you, they are fooling you. You see, if you say to me he is not a Muslim, then I will believe that you are telling me something right. It's possible he is your friend. And when I say a Muslim, I don't mean someone his name is Muhammad. I mean someone he believes in the Quran, and that's what will make him a Muslim. You see, a Christian person is not someone his name is a Christian prince, is someone who believes in the teaching of Jesus and he believes in Jesus. Same in Islam. A person who is born of a Muslim family does not make him a Muslim unless he, he believes. Even though Islam teach that everyone is born as a Muslim, and we Christian we don't believe in that. We believe that we have to be, to be reborn again with the Christ. Being born from a Christian family will not make you a Christian. You have to make a choice. But in Islam, as you see, a Muslim is not allowed to take you as a friend. So how he say to you he is your friend? The solution can be found in the Quran, in different verse, chapter three, verse number twenty-eight. It's called at-taqiyah which means he is allowed to lie to you and he is allowed to say to you, I love you, I like you, you are my friend, as long as you don't mean that. Let me open this website just to show people I'm not making things up because maybe some, some people who they are new here, they never heard this before. And they might say, wondering like, there is no way it's, I, I have a Muslim friend. I always saw this in many places. Many people, they say to me, I have a Muslim friend. Well, you have a Muslim friend? Well, read with me and tell me how he is your friend. I want you to tell me who is here, who is fooling who here. This is the Quran, and you see, we are not explaining Islam according to us. We are showing you what the Muslims believe. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. If you go down here, it says, let us zoom in. Tafsir Ibn Abbas, etc., etc., 2017, the Royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute, the Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan. The Royal of Ahlul Bayt, Royal, this is the king family. They call themselves royal, as they say this, they call themselves king, but the fact they are just savage Bedouin who have nothing to do with royalty. But it was the British intelligent who made those king kings. None of those kings you see in the Middle East today are kings or they are from a noble family. None of them. This is the maid of Her Majesty, the Queen of England. The kings of Saudi Arabia, the, king, the, the, the prince of Qatar, the prince of Bahrain, the prince of... Uh, 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 the, the, Bahrain became a king now. <laughs> uh, the prince of Emirat, the king of Jordan, before the king of Iraq, before the king of Syria, before the king of Libya, before the blah, 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 blah. All of them, they are the maid of the British intelligence. And then... The one who inherit that made it was USA because the British Empire disappear. Let not the believers the, the, uh, uh, take the believers out not to take the hypocrites. And this is, by the way, this is interpretation. So this is what the Muslim believe. This is not my interpretation. So don't take me that I am saying that to you. I'm just reading, as you see. This is official. So you cannot take the Christian, the Jews, and etc. as and this disbelievers as a friend. But if one of you he take them as a friend who are sincere, sincere what? In seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers as friends. If you are sincere, taking me or taking you as a friend, that is very serious problem for Muslim. Look what it says. He has no connection with Allah, which means he is an apostate. He left this now. The second you are sincere to take me as a friend, 
and you are a Muslim you have no connection with, with, with Islam totally not only that he has no honor mercy or protection which means the Muslim they should kill you protection what, what does that mean the guy he did nothing he just took me as a friend just because he took me as a friend he has no connection with Allah and he has no honor and he have no mercy or protection no mercy we will cut you pieces unless unless what unless read carefully unless it be that you guard yourself against them so it is a trick you come to America you come to England you come etc you cannot say from the first day I want to kill you or you are the enemy of Allah you wait until you are strong save yourself from them taking as it were security saving yourself from from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart is like this I mean have you ever heard more evil than this and yet they say we are the one who have a phobia this is the phobia of hate so somebody will say to me so how Qatar is a friend to USA they are not a friend to USA it says in the front of you it's security isn't it how come the Saudi are our uh, you know uh, uh, this they call him uh, like a uh, 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 in our team they are not they are our enemies they hate us to death but as long as they take it as security it's it's okay and the funny in the in the page in the front of us they are calling us hypocrite Islam call us not Muslims call us hypocrites but in fact Islam is teaching hypocrisy Islam is literally the religion of hypocrisy. Somebody saying, in everything in Islam is haram. My friend, no, you are wrong. In Islam, everything is lawful. Just do it by the book. As an example, in Islam, prostitution is lawful. Just do it by the book. Stealing is lawful. Just do it by the book. Lying is lawful. Just do it by the book. Everything is lawful in Islam, just do it by the book. As you see here, it is haram to take me as a friend, but you can do it if you do it by the book, which means you know you don't mean it. Well, Erdogan, he can call as much as he, you know, as he want, but why he don't attack Israel? Israel is next door. Do he dare? And if he is doing that, I mean, it's the fault of Israel. Why Israel don't attack him? They have the power to whip out Erdogan in one in five minutes. What he can do about it? The army of Turkey is no match to Israel. And you know, let me tell you something. The one who wanna do something, he don't talk about it. They are cowards. Everything in Islam, Islam is the most lousy religion. All kind of sin in Islam actually promotes sin. You see, not a single verse in the Quran says that prostitution is forbidden in fact it says the opposite if you go in the Quran you will see the Quran promote prostitution as long as you are using your slaves you force your maid into slavery it was a very big deal in that time everybody having prostitution business because they are kidnapping Christian girls Jewish girls non-muslim girls and they have a lot of slaves so what we will do with them we force them into prostitution. <clears throat> Read carefully what the Quran is saying. <clears throat> it's forced not your slaves into prostitution. If they choose not to do prostitution, but if you force them, Allah is for forgiving, merciful. That's it. There's not a single rule in Islam says this is haram. 
Chapter 24, verse number 33. Read with me carefully. But not, but force not your maids. What maids? The Muslim have maids. Those are Bedouin. Since when they have maids? Since when a Bedouin man who live in a tent, he have a, he have a maid? How he can afford the maids? Where the maid is getting from? Those are the women who kidnap them from their husband and they kill the husband and their children. But force not your maids, your slaves actually, to prostitution when they desire chastity, in order that you may gain in the good of this life. But if anyone compels them, yet after compulsion is Allah oft, oft forgiven. So even if you force them, Allah is all forgiven. <laughs> the Quran actually is approving prostitution. Do you see it? Because all what you are saying, what all the Quran is saying, if the maid agree to work in prostitution as part of your business, it's fine. Or what the verse saying for them not. Is that correct? The verse in the front of you. Not a single verse in the Quran is against prostitution. The fact, as you see, it is a promoting prostitution. You know, people, they have a wrong idea that in Islam, Islam is a very strict religion. Islam is very strict religion and stupidity, but it's very lousy religion. You can have six group. You can do muta. You can rent a woman for five minutes for six. Just do it by the book. You can do whatever you want. Just do it by the book. I'm not going to stay longer today. Tomorrow we will have another podcast. And uh, today I just wanted to uh, join you guys. And uh, finally we are back and we fixed the computer. I hope tomorrow we will have some Muslims to call me live when we are live on air. And usually we start around 3.30 p.m. New York time. So be with us tomorrow. Please subscribe, share, download my videos. They will not stay long in my channel. Download them, post them whatever you want. You can cut them pieces. You can do whatever you want. All right? Just be sure that you don't claim that you are a Christian prince when you post my video on your channel. And don't talk to people that's claiming that you are a Christian prince. And if you don't mind, you can post a link for my channel here so people they will know where to find me and join us live. And I will see you tomorrow. I say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope we did a little bit of education for those who need education. And all of us, we need education. You know, the problem in this earth is education. People die by cancer because we don't have enough education to fight it. As simple as that. I believe time will come and cancer will be the easiest disease or illness to, to, to fight. But until that time come, millions and millions and millions of people will die. The same as before. The flu we can use to kill used to wipe countries. It's just a stupid flu. Ignorance, my friend. Ignorance destroy us, and we have to find the ignorance. The biggest problem we have as, as a human is ignorance. And ignorance these days is very dangerous because they make it look like as it's knowledge. They teach you ignorance. They teach you how to be ignorant. They teach you how to be fooled. They teach you how to be stupid. Nobody willing to say to you the truth. And if somebody speak the truth, they try to silence him. We are in a very dangerous time where hypocrisy is the amazing thing to happen. When somebody says something right, everybody accuses him of racism, hatred, it doesn't matter what you say if you don't go with the wave. You have to go with the wave. And the hypocrites, they always go with the wave. 
You see, when time used to be that gays are not allowed, the hypocrites, they are there too. They say gays is not as bad, etc. When things change, the hypocrite is there too. They say, no, gays is wonderful. They are always there. Nothing changed. They see who is now, what is, what is the mood these days? The mood is anyone speak against Islam, Islamophobia, CNN promote that, Fox News promote that, uh, uh, BBC, all, all president, prime ministers, everybody promote that. Even in European Union right now, they are studying a, a law to protect Islam in Europe. Imagine, European Parliament, the United Nations already they discussed many times, but they failed to make to accomplish the law to punish anyone who speak against the prophet. Imagine. They are trying to, to control the globe by using an organization was exists for different reason. Anyone will speak against the prophet, he will be a criminal. Preparing you for one world religion. And that will make it one world government. But that will never happen anyway, because Muslims is not one religion. Islam is a, you know, the Muslim they try to fool you, say Islam is a big religion. Islam is one of the smallest religion in this earth. They are a big population, but they are not from one sect. And every sect is divided to thousands of sects, and they're killing each other. And you cannot find, and you cannot establish a nation which is divided to be a nation. Shia, they want to kill the Shia because Shia are many sects. Sunni, they want to kill the Sunni because sect are many, uh, Sunni are many sect. The uh, Ruz, Ahmadiyya, blah, 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 blah. And everybody want to kill everybody because this is the teaching of Muhammad. And that's why when somebody says to me, do you think Islam will take over? I laugh. Because what Islam you are talking about? Where is, where is the Islam to talk or take over? Islam of who? Put two Muslims together and let them discuss anything. You will see how they will bite each other right away. Al-Qaeda is fighting ISIS. <laughs> Al-Qaeda <laughs> are fighting ISIS. Yeah, it's a fact. It's true. Muslim Brotherhood are the number one enemy for Algeria, Libya, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Bahrain, Emirates, etc. There's tons of thousands right now of, of Muslim Brotherhood terrorists inside jail in Egypt. Same as in Saudi Arabia, Emirat, etc. Khashoggi, the one who died right now, they killed him. He is a Muslim Brotherhood and he is a terrorist. And he was an ex-Saudi spy and intelligent. And he worked in journalism because the Saudi, they implant him inside society so he can be their spy. He had nothing to do with journalism, and he is not a journalist as they try to present him to you. This is why we say everything you see in the news is far away from reality. And today, everybody is condemning the crime, but the crimes happen every day, and they do more. Didn't we kill Al Waqidi? He's an American citizen in Somalia. We killed him, he's a terrorist. So why we can do that, the Saudi, they cannot do that. Didn't we go all the way to, Abax, to, Afag, to, Afag, uh, to Pakistan and we, we landed with our airplanes and we killed Osama bin Laden? All agencies of intelligence in the world, they do that. Suddenly everybody became the, the honorable, the human right. Hypocrisy is the decency of today. Not a single intelligent agency did not kill somebody working against its government. Actually, this is what they exist, to assassinate and to collect information and to harm other countries where they are a risk. Everybody practiced that, the CIA practiced, CIA practiced that, the Muslim practiced that, the West practiced that, the Chinese, the Russian, everybody practiced that. All of them, they are hypocrites.
However, when the Saudi they practice, actually, there's the biggest sheikh in Saudi Arabia. Do you know what he said about killing this guy? He said, this is remind me of the death of uh, 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 Nuwaira, which is some, someone he was killed by Khad Murid. And Khad Murid, he cut him pieces and he cooked him and he ate him. And then he raped his wife. He said, when the campaign of the Prophet, he did that, the Caliphate, he did not agree about it. But yet he did it. So he's saying, well, the crown prince is the same as at that time, the Caliphate, he didn't agree with this. And now it's too late. You see how to justify it? Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you tomorrow around 3.30. Uh, I say good day and good evening and good night, wherever you are. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Let me do that. See you soon.